Some 18 months ago, Peter Hindel had a vision that we would have the best training academy in the merchant industry, be an industry leader in every way as far as training is concerned. And that vision now has come to fruition. This is the day Greenworks comes to life. When we were looking at the design for this facility, we deliberately made the decision not to go down the routes of a conventional construction college. We wanted a multi-purpose, open plan space that would allow us to integrate staff with customers in the training and really offer every style of training around any particular product or technology. Everyone knows that the green agenda is very much in focus. It's driven by government legislation and it's how we then manage that with our customers and our staff. First and foremost, I think we have to train our staff so that our customers get confidence in their knowledge and ability. Usually you get people going all over the country to, to do their training in here. It's a central site, they can all come here, um, easily accessible via motorways, the train, etc. And you can keep everybody here. And it's, it's that big that you can do different things in each area. The main focus for the training here is around sustainable solutions and renewable technologies. And the beauty of that is that there isn't one particular trade or discipline that that focuses on. The week's been quite interesting in many respects, really. It started off with building the brick walls, getting the foundation laid obviously so you can build up from there. It's really really interesting. Learning about the products, the only way to do it is using them. We moved on to laying the floors, so doing the wooden partitions, putting on the door frames etc etc. It's given me a real insight into what our customers actually do because before I started with Juice and I'd never worked in the building trade at all besides labouring, had no idea of the practicalities behind it all. We have a number of rotational room sets or, or training pods which will add as a, as a framework for us to use as a wall space or a roof space or a ceiling space to actually train installation techniques. Also did a bit of roofing which entailed getting the tiling straight, nailing those on, cutting them with the grind if they needed to be done. Yeah, the highlight of the week for me was the plumbing simply because of uh, the process involved there, it's very hands-on and it gives you a good finish that you can see and the working with the copper and the hep 2 and seeing how they all interconnect. We also then moved on to do some plastering and then finally in the week uh, did some toiling so it was getting the grout in, making sure they were all nice and level and then as you can probably see behind me now he's going on to lay the actual brickwork down. Learned about plastering, joinery, roofing, all the major trades that seem to come into um, Juicens and working at Juicens it gives me a good understanding of what these people are actually doing with the materials they're buying from us. We get to know more about Sangaban as a company, what they offer. If somebody comes in and they're doing a project, then we can say, well, you can get this sort of product at Juice and our Minster at CTD. We have a number of different facilities to, to deliver the training. To complement the practical area, we have two interconnecting classrooms which can either work as one large facility or be split up in, in, into smaller rooms. Those classrooms have full access to our network and also to the internet and it means that we can really en enhance and enliven the practical training by taking the delegates and the students into the classroom for some more focused learning, looking at latest websites, latest technologies, suppliers, brochures and then bring them out into the practical facility. It really takes the learning to a next level and helps individuals that learn in many different ways to get full benefit from the facility. The facilities are great, I mean the training room's ideal. You've got computers in there, you're going to have projectors, everything. It's, a, it's an amazing facility, it really is. It sounds like I'm bigging it up, but it is, it's really good. If you know what the products are, you're more likely to sell them. Especially with the green work stuff, the customers won't know anything about the solar panels. It's, it's nice to be the one they ask and they come to for advice. Without product knowledge you don't know where you're going so you need to know what you're selling to actually sell it to your customers. Within CTD I don't have a great deal of experience with building material but if I know a bit about it it'll help me add on sales for tiles and other things like that. Our long-term ambition is to use the facility at full capacity, 60 people a day, be that 60 customers or a, mixt a mixture of staff, working in all of the different areas, learning and developing their skills. It's going to be really revolutionary in a lot of respects because obviously we're going to bring customers into it, we're going to bring other trainees into it. We're really hoping that Sangaban is going to really take it on board and we can really push forward in terms of sales and training. What I'd say to our employees, you now have the best facility in the country as far as merchanting is concerned to help train you and your staff, but also importantly, our customers. <music>